Well, guys, here we go. It's a live one. When we're done, we're done. Nothing, no fancy pants stuff. Just straight through with the bands, okay? And let's get warmed up, doing it as we would. Again, straight in there, do a circuit. Let's get three breaths in. Here we go, hands up and out. Two a breathe. Exhale down to the heart, squish it out, turn it go again. Exhale down to the heart, squish it out, turn it go again. And exhale nicely down, arc it down, give that a nice shake out. Let me press this button here and get rid of it before we crack on. Getting all mobile and everything. Go away. They're done. Okay, fantastic. All right, from there, hands to here. It's up, curving back and up, curving back, right? When you get the body nice and limber, get it all going, get it all flowing, looking good. Keep the hands up nice and high this time and then just take it around left and right. In step to the out step. Taking it around, bring the hands down, palms facing me, Chris, with T-shaped position. Take it around a few more, push those hands around. Three, two, and a one, down to the side, and gently left and right. Just nice, slow side bends. Over we go. Ready for a countdown, we're going to hold. Three, two, and a one. Just hold it there. And the other side, take it over to there. And then back up, arms to here, and let's start getting the knees up. Looking good, hands to the hips. I'm going to take it up and out, up and out. Good, nicely up and out. Then out to in, out to in, out to in. Gentle leg kicks, here we go. Here we go, one and two. I nearly said one, <laughs> just one leg, didn't I? When I say one leg at a time, I don't mean two legs flicking up, I mean not alternates. Switching it back over, good, there. Fantastic, liking that one. Last one, now up on the toes, up on the toes, back to the heels. Toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, relax. Right, I'm going to pick up a light band, a red one, will do, all right? Or the yellow, it's always down to yourself. We're going to use the band as part of the warm up, part of the exercises, taking it through with the repetitions and looking. Sometimes these things click straight on, and other times they're like there. So I'm trying to do the magic, a magic ring trick that I like doing, isn't it? Okay, so from here, guys, you're still checking your bands out, make sure they're okay. I've got both feet onto the band, any distance you want to, taking it down, hands to the side to there, and then just get that going up and down. Nicely up and down to there. So using this exercise part of our warm up, we're ready for the hand switch down the go, back into the middle and bring it back up again. There, good, like that one, fantastic. And stop and pause, there. Both together, or one at a time if you want to, or alternate, doesn't matter. Pushing upwards, good, nice shoulder raise. Stand by for a change, there, down, and out to the side. Now you can have, the, have one foot on if you want to, switch to a yellow band if you need to, to the front, there. So you're getting everything nice and mobile, getting everything nice and warmed up. For a change again, turn the hands underneath, alternates, all both together. So basically, it's whatever you want to do with those bands to get nicely warmed up. Last one's to here, and it's a posture. Up and down, good. Last one, I'm done. That's why we chose the yellow. I had the red, so I forgot to bring the yellow one in. I'm being honest. All right, first exercise. So that's done. Now you can, if you want to, you can go into some if you felt, oh, my hamstrings are a bit tight, that's why you want to go into your own hamstring stretch or whatever you want to do to make sure the area is all done. It's going to be the squat first. It's always the big muscles first, remember. So I want to get in and out. And I want to have this done <clears throat> within 30 minutes. All right? And we like them ones, don't we? You can have both feet on this or just the one. I'm going to go for one foot because I'm going to do the other side. Okay? And I want to have a foot to there. And it's all... Just normal stance, no narrows, no wides, no nothing else. So, God's little template. Hands are going to come down to here, so remember, dip it down, grip, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down, undo, other foot, into the middle. Are you ready? And there. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven down, done, arc it around. We're going to be increasing the resistance. Not some of you now who think, oh, I just want to do the, you know, the red band all the way through to all the other one. You stick to your band, guys. That's what you're doing, all right? And you're resting, and then you're taking up again when we get going again. Okay, so from there, I'm going to add on my blue band. It's a biscuit, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no. I've said this before, I'm not. I would get as soon as it comes out of my mouth, engage the brain. Blue ribbon's a biscuit. <laughs> blue band. All right. So, place that on there. In. Oh, got a scratch. Sorry about the ticket. In. Onto that foot. Same again. Here we go. And dipping it down. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six this time. Bring it down and around to there. We're doing what's called pyramiding down, okay? Pyramiding down. So adding the resistance on, but doing less repetitions. Now, because I've got my bare feet here, I'm standing with the heel on the band, not the instep, all right? We get a bit sore sometimes. Ready, down we go there. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. There, done. Unwind, take it away. Oh, rotate the shoulders around, give the hand a shake. Pause me if you need to, do some breaths, do a few stretches. What ones could you do? Hamstring, get the quads raised up, hips coming up and out. All right, good. I'm placing on now. The black. So putting the black on, I'm taking the blue off because the black's more than the blue. I'm just going to take the blue one off one side. Why? Again, I'm being too honest. I'm being lazy. All right. Now, in fact, I'll take it off. Here, let's take it off. Look professional, Tug. Get it out of the way. All right. Three things to remember now the exercise. I've got a band there and a band there. That's getting complicated. Back onto the right foot. Okay. In. Same move. We're increased gently. Down we go to here. Go. One. Or oh, can feel that. Two. And three. Good. Four. And five. Back down. Or wind take it away. Go. This one. But this is where you're probably thinking, oh, I should have added a bit more on. Now, if you your pyramid and you think you get so far down you're thinking i'm going to stop in a minute and i could have done more then just hold that weight that that's uh, that's weight if it's weights or resistance if it's the band let it catch up itself okay we're going to pyramid this way you can do it the other way take them off and go down and come back up again okay we're doing just the one today here we go there down ready go one two three four five and back down. Fantastic. Seven, six, and five done. I'm now going to put the red band on. Okay. So why did you grab all the blue one, Tuck? I'm colorblind. I go by the thickness of the bands. I didn't know it was colorblind. <laughs> okay. In. All right. So that's on. That's to there. This is a lot, okay? This is why we keep, so remember doing alternate feet. You can, if you want to, you can put both your feet in, but the alternate one, we get that extra two for the price of one. But keep it nice and straight. Now, if you start putting so much on that you're doing this sort of position, as you come up, you're arcing around, you've got too much resistance on there. And that's why on with one foot, it's actually a nice little, little mechanism, if you like, all right? Another tool in our little toolbox, okay? There we go, guys, there. And four, one. And two, monster face, three, and four, back down, unwind. Oh, show the shoulder round. Starting to feel like it's hard work, but starting to feel really good, okay? I right, nothing like taking up the band's resistance and increasing your strength, guys. Other foot coming in. Do the bit of talk between it, as I always do. That's your recovery time. Don't fast forward it and say, I want to get on, all right? It's not a speed session. Okay, ready? Down we go. We ready? Yeah, of course we are. There. It's four. One, and two, and three, and four, and back down. Good. Going to walk that round. Don't know who that was. Squeeze me. Just going to pull out the silence. 
Okay, I'm taking the red and I'm putting on the blue. So we're going global. How far are we going to go? I've got two orange bands, you know. And this I've got now is equivalent to two orange bands. You increase however you want to. Your expert doesn't take me to tell you which ones to put on. Okay. So there. I'm doing and in. Even though you do your own personal training with me, and only gets the bands and everything, I watch and see how you're doing, and I can advise, but you're the ones who say, no, I'm put the band into feeling. With weights, it's a visual thing. You can, looking at it, you say, yeah, that's 10 kilos, that's five. This is an approximate. And the better your exercises, the more you're putting on, the taller you are. So certainly my size, full extension, with Wayne standing up, Bill, as well, and getting up nice and tall, and Graham with his, when they, you stand, you've got more on your bands, okay? Because you're taller, so you it's an extra little bit of height, okay? There. Good. So, foot on. We're there. Dipping it down. It's three. One and two and three and back down. So, every single one, guys, you stand, drive those hips forward from there. You've got to get nice and upright. Knees just off lock. Chest coming up, little boat going across the horizon, okay? And then if you're getting tired, a little tip, remember our little uh, things that we know, squeeze these handles nice and tight for that extra power and squeeze your glutes as well. Okay, there. We're ready. We're cooking on gas or we'll going nuclear. Down we go. And one, and two, and three. That's two, four. Four, and two. Good. Oh, I like that one. Fantastic. Putting the red band on. How far are we going to go? Right. The rest are in my gym, and I'm not going outside to get them because it's got a bit cold. This is all I want to do, guys, today on this one. And after this, you know, if you've kept up with me, fantastic. I'm sure you all got it. You're all able to keep up with me. But if you've been increasing the bands and you're feeling the extra stress, the extra achievement that you're doing with the band, extra resistance, hopefully by now, if you stopped, you've done a full body workout. You've done your legs, okay? And that's good. So, bring it back down. Right foot onto the bands. All right. Oh, thinking it through, standing nice and tall, dipping it down, nice little handles there, straight line, go. One, and two, and three, there. And back down, and undo, good. I don't like doing bands to failure. I eat, oh, I can't get my, because it's compressing the spine, all right? Weight training, I prefer that way to failure because you're lifting, but bands to failure, some exercises, I, I don't do them, all right? And I don't teach it and I don't advise it. Because if I don't do something, well, there's reasons why, and I can tell you those with any exercises I don't like doing for, because of what I believe in, that's so why I won't teach them, okay? All right, here we go. Take it down, ready? Three, in, go. One, and two, and three, and back down. Fantastic, to get a feel of what that's like. We're gonna go back for the last one. So I'm taking all my bands off, except for the orange. I know we started with the red, but the red is part of the warm-up, I did mine, remember? Or whatever band you used. We start with the orange one. Now I'm gonna take all these off. So we've pyramided up from seven reps. And we've now, I like bands. Oh, can you imagine a weight box, putting all these weights on, taking them all back off again. If you're in a gym, you've got to put them away and bring them back. And somebody says, I was in the gym, two and a half hours working out. Yeah, you spent two hours putting the weights on off the bar and half an hour lifting the things. Okay, so, right foot on. Now feel that difference. Ready? Bring it back down. Seven. One, two, three, four. Going to take off. Five, six, seven. Good. Back to where we started. And you can feel a difference. You can feel how your body now responds to strength, training, resistance, other foot in. Dipping it down and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And back down to there. And that's it, guys. Rotate those shoulders around looking good. All right. And
and shaking them out. So by now you should be like me. You're in that recovery mode all the time. Your heart rate's up there, but staying nice and level at a certain height or level for you for that recovery. Your respiration rate's in, so automatically you should also be also taking in those nice, big, deep, slow breaths, working around and keeping moving, good habits and everything else, all right? We're gonna stick with the full body, but burning lots of calories. So, we're gonna bring the feet out. Now, I'm increasing the resistance here by how far apart the feet are, all right? I'm bringing them down to here. So I wanna be to stick the butt out there, and I wanna stand up and pull and down. There and pull and down. There and up and back down. Good. And there, there's five and back down. Here's number six coming up and raise and back down. And there and up and back and done. I'll just show you that on the sideways. Look there. I should have done it first off, shouldn't I? So all we'll do is stick in the butt out to here with the lift and then the arms. Down and then back there. Okay? That's the one. All right, there, I'm putting on my red band. Here we go. How many lifts have we done? How many squats did we do before? Uh, seven, seven, 14, uh, 20, 25, 29, 33, something like that. All together, not counting the warm ones. So, lots and lots of work. You probably feel working through the body, okay? This is just a, a little combo alternate one I like doing, right, with the bands. So into here, there. Remember, open your feet up to get the band. The maximum you do is six inches left from the clips to where your foot is. That's your maximum. So stick the butt out, stand and pull. There and pull. There, good. And just pull it as far as you can and back down again. And there and back down, good. And up. And back down. And there we go. One more. I think this will be number six, isn't it? Up we go. There. And back down again. Fantastic. Okay. So you've got a bit of a bit of a deadlift coming in to start off with. And then the pull, and it's right through the body. All right. This is really important. This one, you can, oh, you can. Squeezing that, that grip, making the grip even tighter. Okay. Squeeze the loops at the same time. We're joining the body together. Joining our dots, swapped it over. So a new little exercise, I suppose. Putting that on. Taking the red off, guys, I put the blue on. You may be called keeping the same band on. You might be going just one band up, like you might start yellow, now you're going to go red just through the colours. And it's going to be two bands on, all right? Remember, you're the expert in what you're doing. So bring my feet up. My feet, to be honest, about the same distance. You can see the distance there. Yeah, you can, just about there. 20, 40 spot, it's nice and normal. Then I'll take them out just a little bit more. That's my maximum. Stick the butt out there, go up, and the lift there. Now, if you put it on, you're not going to pull that lift up so hard there. But pull it up, good there. Get the chest working. Up we go, good. Here we go, up, there. Let's do one more, up, and done, and back down. Good, like that one. All right, so from there, I'm putting the red band back on again. But remember, all the resistance we do, and we have this every so often, every time you use a band, you can use this method in every single exercise, whether it's your bicep curls, your shoulder presses, or whatever. Gradually increasing, then gradually decreasing. If you, if you pyramid up and pyramid down, you make your workout really long, so make sure you've allowed yourself enough time for it, okay? All right, so let's say you allow yourself 30 minutes when you can get in there and do it. It will take you an hour, right? It's surprising how long it is. But when you first off start, start doing pyramids, you don't go do full body. You pick my pick your legs, your chest, or your arms, or a couple where you want to join the dots together. But don't do any more than three or four guys, okay? It's enough. You're pyramiding up and down. It's a lot of work, and you'll feel it. Ready? Stick the butt out and go. One and two and three. Last one. Four. Good. Now, as I get to my maximum on that pull, um, the split center, I'm there at maximum, I try and pull it a little bit more, try and make it work, get a little bit harder. I'm taking off the red and I'm putting the black on. So I went from red, uh, orange to blue, orange, blue, and red, and now orange, blue, and black. Okay. 
I know the, the black is more than the blue. Um, by a little bit, okay, I'm happy doing that. So if you're happy doing any AD exercise, guys, that's what we do, isn't it? There. You know how much you develop, you know how strong you are. I do as well, I see it in everybody, but you feel it. I can't feel it for you, you feel it, you know, and it's up there in the brain, okay? And remember your brain says, oh, you're not as fit as this, all that sort of stuff. You are, you've got to convince yourself, talk to yourself, have a good day, like we say in the mornings. Grab the day, make it yours. Be proud of what you're doing. You're still there, you're doing your fitness, guys. Millions don't do nothing. They do diddly, all right? <laughs> diddly squat. We do the squats, we don't do the diddly. Okay, so feet out to the side. Here we go. Now I'm getting to say, no, something's my neighbor. Move, I don't know. Here we go. Stick the butt out to the rear. Ready? Stand up. And the pull. There's not much, is it, there? But it's up. The same muscles are working. We change angles. Three. And back down. Good. That's it. So we're counting down. I know I might have got my numbers mixed up. We're coming down from seven. What am I doing now? I'm putting the red on. Right? So red coming on to there. Taking that around. That's a lot of resistance, guys. All right? Let me know what you're doing with your bands. If you're increasing the band is what you were and what you're doing now, what colours you're doing. And they keep checking your bands out, band maintenance as well. All right, you've had them quite a while now. What you might both think, oh, it's perishing a bit, it'll be okay, it won't. Perishing, you get another set up from me if you want to. All right, I'm going to get them for you. And you snip that other one and throw it. Did you imagine doing this and you get a snap? All right, oh, you're painful on the bare skin. All right, how we go? And the bears don't like it. You ever seen a bear in the woods doing resistance bands? No, that's why. Okay, St stick with, I don't know either. Ready, and go, stand, and pull. There, and pull, good. And three, it's there. Take it back down, it's that moment of two. Don't be tempted to stand and do this. It's all the way through the body working together. All right, do the same thing again. I'm taking all the bands off, except for the orange, get out of the way. Get him out of the way. Get him out of the way. And it always feels like you're going a bit slower. When I've done band classes in the past, you always, when you get to this part, you get people all getting a bit fiddly. It, it, it's, it's quicker than what you think it is, guys. It seems to take longer, doesn't it? Okay. And good. All right, orange. Put your little gauge in, see how this feels. Feet in on my heels as I'm doing there. Here we go, stick the butt out, go up, there. Oh, look at that there. And up, there, good. Squeeze, there, good. Four, up, back down, fantastic, up. Five, back down, and in, six. And last one, up, and seven, good. Place it down. So you're done. Two. Full body, right through. If you can't feel that, well, by the way, you think, oh, I should I should rewind it, guys. Next time you want to do it, to give it a few hours rest, go back in and increase your bands. It's to give you the measure of where you're going to go. If you don't increase your bands, you're in 15s and there, you set. Fantastic. Hands to here. Up we go, curve it back, back down. Up we go, and back down. Up we go, and back down. To here, rotate it round. Left. And right, remember in any exercise class we do, once we're finished, if you've got any tightness afterwards, give it a nice stretch out. Back to there and out, hold, face me, turn up, breathe. Exhale down to the hands, palms onto the thighs, one time only, bicycle chain, breathe in. Exhale, chin to the chest, gently coming down the body. There, oh, doesn't that feel good? Now you feel that hard, the shoulders and the spine. That eight shape we've been talking about, guys, that's what we've been working, inhale. Exhale, bring it back up. Remember the H shape? Letter H, turn it on its side, across the hips, upper spine, across the shoulders. Done. 25 minutes, 33, and intense. Use that one, make it as intense as you want to work it hard. If you're doing lots of reps, a bit faster, all right? But all good stuff. I'll catch you later.